hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you how i created this photoshop and um without further ado let's get into the video okay um i'm going to open up my photoshop and then i'm going to import my image the first thing i want to do here is to duplicate this image you can press ctrl j to do that i'm going to change this to convert this to a smart object and then um i'm going to create a new document so i'll tap ctrl a here and ctrl c okay so i'm going to go back to file and new and it's automatically give me the dimensions of the picture that is what i want so over here i'm going to create a new layer and go back to gradient make sure my gradient is is transitioning from black to white okay so i'm going to make the gradient here from here to here i'll make this medium gray so that you see what i'm doing then i'm going to convert this to a smart object i hold ctrl t and then i'll drag this here while holding shift until it's very small like this okay i'm going to duplicate this one two just highlight three of them just hold shift so that to be on the same line hold everything and then hold shift and yeah i want to select everything and reduce it again because i want my um effect to be very pronounced okay just like this and i'll select this four and um, and yeah i'm just going to push it a bit okay so um you're going to select everything from beginning to the end and hit ctrl e all right so i'm going to use ctrl s to save this and i'm going to go back to my documents and i'll go back to my displacement files and i'll name this uh glass texture okay when i've saved this i'm going to head over to my design of my image um the next thing i want to do is to go back to filter and i'll go back to filter gallery and then on that filter gallery i'm going to um go over to stylize okay i'm going to go over to um distort and i'll tap on glass now i'm going to head over to this place this icon where it says load texture and i'm going to pick my texture which this is it and you can see the effects is already coming to life now i'm going to go over to my smoothness slider here and i'll slide this so that the effect will be a bit smoother the distortion this button uh makes it to have this kind of a strong distortion now um, this is what controls the distortion i just want to increase it a bit i think this is fine and then the scaling here is how how big it is okay so i i think this is okay for me okay i'm going to have this all right so i'm going to create a new shape by coming over to the rectangle tool here so i'm going to create a new rectangle shape here and then i'm going to carry this um, my effect up and then i'll clip mask it into this place okay now um i can carry this anywhere i want and you can see the effect please on his body now i don't want i want to increase i uh, reduce the distortion on his face because the eye looks creepy um okay i'm going to reduce it and i'm going to increase the scaling and the smoothness needs to go down a bit okay 
when you lock this layer you can move this around and you can see this glass effect playing on the skin already so you can just come over here and write glass texture um okay then i'll carry it to the front i'm going to release this clip mask here so that you can see the text <clears throat> okay so i'm going to change the font to sharp go text Um, I'm going to choose one from here. Sorry, sharp Gotex. Okay. Um, this is not a must, but I'm just using it to show you guys um, how the glass texture plays off. And you can also come over and add some more effects. Um, let me do this with another picture. So I'm going to hit, um, I'm going to my home and then I'm open and I'm going to open um, another picture. Now you can go over to, um, you can go over to pinterest.com if you want to get pictures like this one you can head over to pinterest on your chrome browser um, pinterest.com and you can just type in um, okay you can get an image like this you can use this one and yeah these are the images now let me download this one so that we we'll use this one as an example i like the reddish um, color you can also check if you see any um, picture that you like i'm going with this one so i'm just coming here and i'll download it so i'm going back to photoshop and okay we can see use this picture so we'll follow the same steps just duplicate this convert this to a smart object and since we've done the effect already i'm going to filter gallery I'm just going to load yeah this is this is perfect this is the glass texture here and you can also go over to your layer mask and then um control i so that you can paint in you can paint it on the part that you want it to show just like this and you can make your brush harder so that the effect shows very well here and here yeah just just like that yeah you can see how beautiful this effect is on the body this is really nice and you can also go by and um and just merge all of them into one layer go over to your camera or filter you can use Ctrl Shift A to head over to your camera or filter, or you can go to filter and then I'm going to go to my basic section and just increase the the clarity and the shadows. You can see that glass effect. I'm going to reduce my highlights and increase my um, saturation a bit. I'll go over to detail. I'll increase my sharpening and increase my noise reduction don't do it too much just a bit yeah just like this is perfect and you can see the before and the after just like that yeah so um this is the before and the after you can also go ahead to add over effect but this is the effect you want to be doing today and yeah that is all you need to know about the fractal glass effect in Photoshop. Um, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Till then, peace out and stay safe.